Welcome to the Kareem Report, aka Mr. Hunter Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. I wasn't really going to say nothing about this topic, but it been it been burning me, and I just want to um, say something. It's not going to be disrespectful. It's just more of a, a man to man uh, conversation. Um, I've been following it a lot, so now I feel I'm um, can speak on some of it. I've been following. Uh, y'all know I know uh, Pastor Rufus. Y'all know Pastor Rufus. I know him. Now, um, I've been watching Ringo TV, who, who's doing an excellent job on this. Ringo TV is doing an excellent job on this. And um, I've been following, uh, listening to a lot of videos, Pass It Down, trying to really see what's going on and, and you know, trying to weigh out things in the, in the honest way. Anybody follow my channel, y'all know I'm pretty much got the call of how it is. I don't, uh, you know, take sides. I, I got to be honest and call it how it is. So um, what I see, and I want to talk to Pastor Dow. As a pastor, you, I think you 57, 58 years old, you, you you was a, a full-fledged grown man. If someone say they see a spirit in you, another pastor, that's your equal. You're not above Pastor Rufus. That's your equal. If he say he see a spirit in you, someone that you knew for a long time, almost 15 years, y'all broke bread together. That's your brother. You know, as a man, come to you as a man. and talk behind your back. And said anything behind your back. He came to you as a man. And said I see a spirit in you. The right thing to do. Y'all go. And you're him handling. Maybe sometimes people have spirit. You could be a man of God. And sometimes a, a, a spirit or something could come on you. Or somebody may see something. may come before. This is a wicked world. This is a wicked world. Things happen. You know y'all. You supposed to went and say, okay, brother, what you see and talk, and y'all talk about it and get past it. This is a wicked world, and you have to stay strong. You need your brothers. You need your brothers to, when you slip in, you down. You're not perfect. You're not God. You're not perfect. Things happen, you know. And like I said, Pastor Rufus is your equal, Pastor Dow. So, like I said, Pastor Dow took a big hit because Pastor Roof is very knowledgeable, very loyal. Um, he did a lot of great things for the community. And that's a big loss from Straightway. Y'all took, Straightway took a major loss. And I think that Pastor Dow, I think that you underestimate the power Pastor Roof has had. I'm pretty sure I would bet every dime I have if Pastor Thou can take it back. I believe he'll take it back and wouldn't want, want, want none of this to happen. I think if he can take it back, he'll take it back. I honestly think that, and I would bet anything he would. He didn't realize the power of Pastor uh, Rufus. And Ringo TV is just, just breaking them down to the T. And, and as you can see now, you, I'm watching every video, and I'm really in tune with this, and you clearly could see Pastor Thou you know it is not right it's not right he he trying to save face faith and, and and go back and and trying to make things uh you know trying to call him liars and trying to respond and it's just not a good thing right now it's not because what he's doing he's just trying to you know gather his troops back cuz i think that will pass it down the more Ringo TV expose him and the more Pastor Rufus talk, I think that he know that he can lose a lot of membership. A lot of people can start seeing what this guy Pastor Dow is about. And I don't think I think that Pastor Dow is smart enough to know that. I think he he see that. That's why he doing a lot of responding, a lot of um videos, because he had to get his troops back in line and I think that he gonna lose some membership I think a lot of people gonna start scaling away 
from Pastor Dow, and Pastor Dow know that. He's not no dummy. Pastor Dow is not no dummy, but I just think that he has to, he had to just right now as a man, you know what I mean? Just do the right thing, could have went to him, and, and y'all could have squashed that as brothers. Pastor Dow is a, is a, that's scary. Someone you could know for all them years and y'all broke bread and you can't have a conversation. Like that means you think you above him, like you some, like you above him, like where nobody can't say anything to you. Someone tell me right now, I got spirit on me. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You know, everything ain't for uh, a cancellation. A goodbye, pack up and leave. Everything ain't for that. It, it, to me, that is, a, it looks crazy. I don't think that, Pastor Dow, I don't think you realize how it looks. It looks bad. A grown ass man, 57, I think he said he is, 57 years old. And that's like some high school stuff. What, what happened? Oh, I told him he had a spirit on him. And it led to this. Like, what type of real man would let it get to that over that? If I'm going to have a problem with somebody and I have to explain to people what our problem is, it's going to be a real problem. It's not going to be nothing like that. Because someone said they saw a spirit. Then, like I said, that's your equal. Even if it was an elder or somebody, someone under... You would have said that. Like, hey, listen. I, me personally, I want someone to speak up. I want leaders. I don't want no flunkies. I don't want no followers. I want leaders that's with me. In case something happened to you, you know you're going to have a strong person in line to take over where you left off at. That's what you want. That's what you want. And he pretty much, he don't want that. He wants to be controlled and and it's backfiring on you. Pastor Dow is backfiring on you. I think you should just wave the right white flag and just apologize. Just say, you know what? I don't. We don't need to go through this no more. What's done is done. What's said is said. You go your way. I go my way. You right. Whatever. Let just this end this. I'm not gonna make no more videos. Um. That's the best way to do. Bow out. Bow out, Pastor Dow. You know, I'm trying to, this me talking to you. Just bow out. Because right now, the longer this goes out, it's not looking good for you. This thing drags out more. The more drag a because Ringo is in his bag. And I hear that you want to challenge Ringo to a debate. And I, I would love to debate. Um... I would like to set it up, man. If y'all need a, a mutual ground, um, y'all could come holler at me and we got to set something, do something big. We have a big debate with you and Ringo TV. You said you want to debate him. Just come talk to me and we could set things up. I could be the middleman between you guys and set it up and have a debate as men. You don't need to be none of that rah rah stuff. Just have a debate and, and let the people judge. That's why we need to start handling things as a as a people, as a community. What you're doing right now is not right. It's not right. Make things right. Bow out. Continue. Try to get better. Because people can see right through you. A lot of people is not, not feeling you right now. A lot of people. It's not looking good for you. He underestimate uh, Pastor Rufus' power. And now he see it.